What's going on you guys? It's Aviation484 here and I'm back with another awesome uh, uh, airline collection video. This is the uh, Brit this is British Airways so, uh, this time. So awesome. I'm so excited to see. I'm so excited for this uh, you know video uh, doing this video. So yeah, that should be uh, everything I should everything I need to say it really. So yeah, uh, let's get started. All right, so first we're gonna start off with the oldest model. Uh, really, really oldie. Um, but yeah, it's the British Airways Negus livery on the... Uh, so this is a Vi Vickers, a Super Vickers VC-10. Vickers Super VC-10. Uh, registration is G-ASGP. Um, really awesome model. Really old one as well, but yeah, uh, this is just a nice model. This is by Aero Classics, and yeah, so nothing much else to say. It's a pretty old release as well. I think it was a 2006 or five release, so long time ago. So yeah, that's it for Mr. Oldie. Next, we have the Gemini Jets British Airways Concorde. Beautiful, beautiful model. Um, yes, Gemini Jets did an awesome job. Not really, I mean, kind of, but they messed up on the registration underneath here. You see the registration is supposed to be G dash, G dash BOAB. It's also on this side and the box, um, but the registration on the wing is G dash BOAF. Which is unfortunate, but I mean, I used to be so bothered by it, but now I got kind of got used to it. Um, but yeah, nevertheless, it's such a beautiful model. Um, it completed pretty much my Concorde fleet. I have the Air France and this British Airways one. So really magnificent model. I love the Concorde. Uh, just such a beautiful, gorgeous aircraft. Um, so yeah, that's it for the Concorde. Here we have the majestic Queen of the Skies. Uh, such a beautiful, beautiful aircraft. This is by Gemini Jets, of course. Um, registration. Whoops. Um, why is it not focusing for some reason? But okay, I don't, I don't know why it didn't focus until I zoom in. But G dash B Y G F. Um, that blurriness bothers people. I do apologize for that. But yeah. Uh, just such an magnificent aircraft, uh, the Queen of the Skies. They used to fly this aircraft in uh, to Chicago from London. Um, now, unfortunately, it's retired, of course, in 2020 due to the, you know, you know, due to the pandemic. But uh, yeah, just like the KLM one. But this is beautiful aircraft, and so happy to have it. Next off, we have the British Airways 787-10 Dreamliner by NG Models. Just again, another. This is a. This is one of my favorite models. Um, actually, not really, but it's it's still like an awesome model. Like, yeah, I would say it's one of my favorites as well. Just just the details and everything. I don't know why I said not really. It is a majestic aircraft. Registration is G dash Z B L B. Um, yeah, so just a really awesome aircraft, and yeah, just. I'm so happy to have it. It's good to have like a mo decently modern uh, British Airways aircraft. You know, I have the Sun for Seven Concorde and stuff, and those are pretty old. So, yeah. But this is—I actually did get this a month recently, just like the next model you're about to see. So yeah, that's it for this segment. And next, we'll show you the next model. Next, we have the big British Airways A380. Um, just such an awesome model. They fly this plane to Chicago. And that's just amazing. I'm so happy to have this. This is definitely on my top 10 favorite models uh, list. Um, that's what I meant about the 787. I mean, it's like not on the top 10, but it's definitely one of my favorites. Um, but this is definitely on the top 10. Um, I should actually make that video soon or next week soon. So yeah, but yeah, just such an, whoops, just such an amazing model. 
And the registration for this one, uh, G dash. Honestly, I really have no idea what's going on with the camera recently, but the, I have to zoom in now for you to see like details like that. But G dash X L E L. And yeah, this is my Phoenix models. And it's just, just definitely, like I said, it's like one of my favorite models. So, or uh, definitely on the top 10 list. So, yep. So that's it for this one. And I'll conclude this video now. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Put in the comments below what you thought of it. Um, yeah, that's, I guess, all I have to say. I'm just glad to do these videos. There's going to be more of these kind of, uh, th this series, I would say, coming up soon uh, or down the road. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, comment, like, and share if you're new. And, um, and that's all I have to say. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.